Hello and welcome back to The Road to Good Cooking. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Today I want to share with you a delicious maple bacon sausage recipe. Yes, you heard it right. Maple bacon sausage. And it is to die for delicious. This recipe was shared with me by my Canadian friend David of The Old Fat Guy. And I will list the link to his channel in the description box below make sure you check him out now let me show you how I made this wonderful maple bacon sausage you're gonna love it and here's my pork butt I'm using an eight pound pork butt here and I when I got it home from the store yesterday I sliced it up put it in a ziploc bag and put it in the refrigerator normally when I'm making sausage after I slice up my meat I put it in the freezer for about 45 minutes but due to the coronavirus and uh, the possibility of us uh, getting shut in, I, our freezer is pretty full of food and pr other provisions that we might need during this time. So I was uh, unable to put it in the freezer. So I just stored it in the fridge overnight and that put a nice chill on it too. And here's my meat all loaded up in the hopper. There's the plunger that I'll be using to plunge it down into the chute if I need to. That way I won't grind up my fingers. Now it's time to grind up some meat. Let's go. And I have a bowl underneath and this will catch all of my meat as it's grinding. Now I'm not gonna use the entire eight pounds for this recipe. This recipe only calls for four and a half pounds of pork. So I will have plenty left over. I'll put it in a vacuum seal bag. I'll mark it pork. That way I know what it is and I'll put it in, store it in the freezer and I'll use it if I need to for the next batch. And as you can see, this meat is nice and lean and the, you can see, you can see the white spots as the fat from the the pork now they they had it trimmed up pretty i mean it was trimmed up beautifully just like my butcher would trim it up i got it from a different place because i'm out in, uh, in a different area now but uh the pork was really trimmed up nicely i was impressed with that so i might have to add a little fat towards the end because this is looking pretty lean to me and you don't want your sausage your bacon to be uh dry so i'll add some more fat to it i'm sure and I'm gonna speed up this process to save a little time. Here I'm mixing the fat into the meat to make sure everything is well combined. With my scale, I'm gonna measure out four and a half pounds of ground pork. Here's what I have left over. So I'm gonna put that in a vacuum seal bag, mark it as ground pork, and that way I'll have it for my next project. And here's all the ingredients for this maple bacon sausage. Now you might wanna go get a piece of paper and a pen and write all these ingredients down. And while you're gone, I'm gonna mix up all my ingredients and what I'm doing here is making a slurry. So write quickly so we can move on. I'll wait. Okay, let's move on. 
Now I have to emphasize um, the quality maple syrup that I hope that you will use in this recipe. The syrup is what gives this maple bacon its unique flavor and you don't want to use that syrup that you put on the kids pancakes on Saturday morning. You really want to use a good quality syrup. So spend a few extra bucks, get you a good quality syrup. You won't be disappointed with this recipe, I promise. And here's my spice mixture. I whisk it all up until it was well combined and it smells fabulous. It really does. I'm adding it to my pork. I use a fine grind on my pork. And so I'm only going to ground it up once that, which is going to be, give me the texture that I want because I'm going to blend it with the, um, my stand mixer. And you'll notice that the texture will change somewhat as all of this, all the ingredients are incorporating with the meat. And, you know, I want to make sure that the fat is well incorporated and my bacon is going to be super, super delicious. So, and now we mix. And I'm going to mix it on low until it is well combined. And, you know, you can totally do this process by hand if you wish. Um, I'm just getting lazy and I just found it easier for me just to put it in my stand mixer and just whip it all up together and then stop it, scrape everything down in the bowl so you can make sure that you have everything well incorporated. And mix just one last time and I should be done. By mixing my maple bacon sausage, you'll see the texture change in the next clip. Now you see what I mean? Uh, the texture did change somewhat, which is fine with me because that way I know that my bacon is going to be a little bit dense and that is totally fine with me. It's just like eating a great piece of meat and with not a whole lot of fat on it. So I'm okay with this and it looks pretty doggone good, doesn't it? I'm going to make me a, a little patty so I can taste it to see if I need to adjust any of the seasonings. Um... I know it's going to be perfect because I made this before, but um, I'm just being greedy. I just want a piece. <laughs> I don't want to wait till tomorrow. And I have my pan here with a little drop of olive oil in it because this meat is so lean. And here is my finished product. And it, when I was cooking it, my kitchen smelled like, you know, that smell that you have in your kitchen on Christmas morning when you're making pancakes and waffles and sausage and bacon. That's what it smelled like. And you see how tender and juicy that meat was? Oh. And it tastes absolutely heavenly. You're going to love this recipe. You really are. Want a bite? Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Here I'm adding about a tablespoon and a half of some breakfast sausage seasoning that I made in a different recipe. And um, like I said, I want to keep it close to the maple flavor. So I'm not going to add a whole bunch of stuff to it, but you know, this is your sausage. You make it like you want it according to your taste buds. And I've made this recipe before where I've added sage or marjoram or fennel. And if you want to bump up the heat a little bit and have it hot and sweet, just add, you know, add some pepper flakes according to your taste buds. So, you know, like I said, this is a, a fun recipe that, you know, you, you have a base to start from, start from there, and then just add different seasonings that, you, you know, that you like. So it's your sausage. Do what you want to do. So after I added the seasoning, I'm giving it another quick mix, and then we should be good to go after this. Now I'm using a 14 and a half by 9 inch baking pan. I'm going to spray it with, I'm spraying it with some cooking oil. And make sure you get it all around the sides and just put it in, pat it down in the pan and you want to get it as flat as possible to kind of squeeze out all the air bubbles if there is any air bubbles air pockets in here you don't want to have any holes in your bacon and I'm going to spray my gloves because you see the sausage is sticking to my gloves and that's going to make it a little bit easier to you know pat it down in the pan and just pat it down Make sure you get it in all the little corners and try to get it as evenly um, distributed in the pan as possible. Use whatever you have to do. Just smear it. See what I'm doing here? Patting it down. So how's everybody holding up now that you're you're sheltered and closed in? You know, this is this would be a, a, a project you can do with the kids. And I'm sure you have a, a pork butt or some kind of pork roast in your freezer. You know, and this would be a perfect project to do with the kids or with you and the hubby or just by yourself and is and when you when you see how much bacon this is going to make at the end you are not going to want to go to the store waste your money on that bacon that's just going to fry up to nothing but grease in your pan this is solid meat right here 
And from here, it's going to go into a 200 degree oven and I'm going to cook it real slow. That way the, um, the fat that's in here will be, um, you know, it, it will cook into the meat, not out of the meat to dry it out. Does that make sense? Yeah, so the slower you cook it, um, the better it's going to be. And I'm going to um, top it with some cracked black pepper. I'll start it off at a 200 degree oven and then I'll increase it till about 250. And I'll continue cooking it until um, the internal temp of my bacon is 150 degrees. That's not going to completely cook it. And I'm not worried about that because when I cook it for breakfast, I'll be frying it further, you know, to bring it to the point where it needs to be. And pardon me for moving the <laughs> the pan all over. I was trying to get the perfect shot. You know how it is. Come on now. The creator's struggle is real. And you can put as much cracked black pepper on the top or you can totally omit it. It, it really does enhance the flavor though. And it doesn't make it hot and, you know, hot to your tongue. It's very, very, very good. You're going to want to add the cracked black pepper on the top. And here is the finished product. Look at that. See how dense that meat is? And it smells absolutely divine. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. And you can see all the little bits of pepper in there. And um, can't see too much fat, though. Maybe those little top, those little um, specks at the top, that's the, um, yeah, that's fat there. But look at that. That's just solid meat. Mm -mm -mm. No, you can't buy no meat in the store that looks like this. You can't buy no bacon in the store that looks like this. Look at that. And you ought to smell the kitchen. And here is, once again, the pure maple syrup that I use. And I think I paid about $13 for this, <laughs> this tiny little bottle. But I've made several um, batches of sausage with it. And... It's worth every penny to me because it just, the flavor is just absolutely amazing. It's from the trees of Vermont. All right, now it is time to for me to start bagging up everything and getting it all sliced. And th this is the bag that I'm going to be using to store my bacon. And so I just want to make sure that, you know, it's the right size. I'm going to put some plastic down because as I'm slicing my um my bacon, I'll have some place to put it. And look at that. Slices like butter. Look at that. And you can slice it as thin or as thick as you want. And you see how generous I am with my bacon. When I eat a piece of bacon, I want to eat a piece of bacon. I don't want to eat a bunch of fat. All right, I'm going to be quiet and I'm going to continue on. I'll put on some good music for your listening pleasure. Watching me work. <laughs> It's worth it. It you know, this, making your own homemade sausage is worth every minute. And look at that. Look at that. Can you get that in the store? I doubt it. Unless of course you want to pay an arm and a leg for it. This pork butt I paid. Um, it was on sale. I got it for nineteen dollars. It was an eight pound pork butt, and I used four and a half pounds for to make this recipe. And I have another, you know, almost four pounds left. And I'm sure I'm going to be making some more sausage. So stretch your dollars, especially now that we're in this holding pattern of, you know, people being out of work. And, you know, you need to stretch your dollars as far as you can. So I'm doing my part. I'm showing you how to do that. And there's going to be more recipes to come. So I will stop right now and I'm going to put on some, some good music for you. And I will continue slicing. I'll be back with you in a minute.
this maple sausage bacon will take a BLT to the next level. Trust me on that one. I've made several <laughs> BLTs since I've been shut in. I tell you what, it is well worth it. Now, um, I'm stacking them, stacking my bacon in slices of six pieces, and that'll give me breakfast for two mornings because I usually eat about three pieces at a time. So, um, you know, stack yours however you want, but that's that's good enough for me. You know, if I want more than that, I just take out two packages because I'm going to wrap them individually. And here we are. Everything is all sliced up. I ended up with 11 stacks of bacon. That's 66 slices of bacon ready to go. All I got to do is put them in the pan, brown them up a little bit, bring them to the correct internal temperature and they're good to go and check that out 66 slices of goodness <laughs> i got everything all bagged up and back on the back there you can here's the um, extra four pounds that i have left over i marked it pork and got it in the vacuum seal bag so when i'm ready to make my next batch it's ready and these little odd pieces i probably chop those up and put them into an omelet or fry them up and just snack on them i can do whatever i want to do it's my bacon and I have everything bagged and tagged so I know exactly what it is. So when I get ready to um, make me some breakfast, I just take out a bag. That way I have it for a couple days and I'm good to go. And those bags back there, I don't know if I'm going to make another batch of sausage or I just might make me some um, yeah, tacos. Work, but you know what? Or some meatballs. I mean, whatever I want to make with it, I can do whatever I want to do. And, you know, it's so nice to have everything all prepackaged and ready to go. And like I said, when I get ready to make breakfast, I just cut open a bag and, you know, take out a couple of um, stacks and it'll last me for a couple of days and I'm good to go. So plan ahead. That way you don't have to work so hard all the time. Yeah, it took me a minute and it was time consuming, but it's so worth it. And here's the next day um, where I fried up. I took out a stack and sliced it in half, fried it up all brown and Oh, it's absolutely fabulous. Served it with my sausage egg bites on Easter morning. And it was absolutely to die for delicious. And look at my bacon. When I tell you that it is to die for delicious, believe it. This is a great recipe. Your kids and family will absolutely love it. Let the kids help you. Like I said, let them help you. And, you know, make it a family project. What else you have to do other than be sheltered in and cook and eat and fellowship as a family and i hope everyone is staying safe if you're new to my channel welcome again and don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave and leave me a comment if you wish share my link with everyone you know in the universe be safe out there and don't forget to wash your hands often be blessed and keep on cooking